so it goes up and down. Um, so in this human dummy drill, you're going to think about the concept of opposite directions to open up the guard. So if Aaron's hands are forward like this, there's only one of a few ways that you can manipulate the arms. It's either, think of it as an X, Y, and Z plane. So it goes up and down, um, side to side, or forward to back. Right? So you can turn that into individual drills, or you can make that a little spontaneous. So if I just do up and down, one hand's going to do your down block, one hand's going to do your rising block here. It's, sh it's shooting through the middle and flaring out. So if you look at it, at it from the front, I'm going center and out, right? Because if I just go straight out from here, or straight up and down from here, it's going to be hard to do that. So you want to add a little, I guess, curve to your path. So I'm shooting in, and I'm going to flare out. And I'm going to do it on the opposite side. Push down, shoot in, and flare out. So that can be one drill here. So you think in opposite directions is up and down. Now if he goes uh, outward, you guys can flare in like that, or you can peel out like that. Um, you can also go over the top and underneath and peel out, double unders and peel out, or double overs and peel out here. You just want to think about what's going to happen when in each of those scenarios, right? So for example, if I go over the top here, my head is open that he can still shoot in double unders here on me in a, in a confrontation, right? So, or maybe I go over the top and I'm, I'm shooting in myself and therefore I'm clearing my body on top of his arms. Whereas if I go underneath, um, I can grab right to the neck here, right? So each things are advantageous and also disadvantageous depending on the situation. Um, the last one is front to back. So I can grab over the top and I can push this side in and push this forward. So essentially, um, my forearm here is making contact with his forearm, and I'm trying to jam that elbow joint so that it pushes everything back. So just like if Aaron threw a punch at me here, and I'm blocking this way, I can, I'm receiving the structure, and then I'm going to collapse that structure by stepping into it. And that kind of opens up this half of his body. So if I just pull on this half here, there's my entrance to his torso. Right. Cool.